Uh, these two are up. Both of these are seriously awesome. So alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Hilti 22 volt recip saw versus the Milwaukee Fuel 18 volt super sawzall. All right, now I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I can't believe I haven't done it yet. So I figured I might as well do it today. This video was uploaded as a premiere. So for those of you who are watching this with me, I thank you guys very much for being here. But yes, we are going to be testing this out and see what these can do against each other. Now, I will say this. Milwaukee just announced a new release of a new recip saw. Now, I do not know if it'll be more powerful than this. So I can't wait to test that out in the future. So this might not be the most powerful recip saw that Milwaukee makes. And this is not the most powerful recip saw Hilti makes either. Hilti makes a 36 volt and they also have an extremely powerful corded one. Now, uh, so I, I think, in my personal opinion, I think this is a 100% fair test. Uh, the, the huge benefit of having the Milwaukee is the Milwaukee has an orbital feature, which that is actually called what Milwaukee fans beast mode. So that is a huge benefit for the Milwaukee that the Hilti does not have. The Makita doesn't have orbital mode either when it comes to the 36 volt recip saw. Both of these are pretty beefy recip saw. So I actually, I can't wait to see what the results are now in this test. What we are going to do is I want to try one cut. I do want to try one cut between a 3 amp hour battery and a 3 amp hour battery, then the rest of it we're going to use an 8 amp hour for both of them. I just want to see if both of these require a big battery for them to perform the way that they're supposed to. I, I, so I do want to see what the time difference is between a low amp hour battery, high output of course, with 21700 cells, and the Hilti also has 21700 cells in their batteries, only 21700 cells that, that Hilti makes besides their older, much older batteries. So this is going to be an interesting one. So please subscribe to the channel and please like this video and please check out my other videos. I do these types of tests all the time. So let's actually go through the specs of these really quick and see what these actually are. Alrighty, so first we're going to do the Milwaukee Fuel Super Sawzall. This thing is a beast. I, I've used this. This thing is absolutely amazing. It is extremely powerful and I love this recip saw. All right, so the huge benefit of having the Milwaukee is you do have a speed dial in the, in the handle. It goes from one to five. It goes from one to five. The orbital feature is on top. You could have it clean cut just by turning that dial, or you could have it orbital, and it'll just destroy whatever it is you're trying to cut. It's majorly beneficial if you for having this feature if you just plan on plowing through material and you don't need a clean cut. But if you need a clean cut, you have the option. That is a huge, ben that's a huge benefit, so I love that. This is model number 2722-20, 18 volt system, and this goes from zero to 3,000 strokes per minute. Now, 3,000 strokes per minute, that's pretty standard. Because if you, if you go, let's say you have a recip saw that goes to 5,000 strokes per minute, you wouldn't be able to control this tool. This would be vibrating like crazy and you just wouldn't be able to control it. So 3000 strokes per minute is pretty standard uh, for a max because that's you could easily control the tool and that's more than enough strokes per minute to, to get the job done. All right, and it doesn't give any more specs besides that. And on the handle, it also has a lock feature. One thing I will say, this has a very easy adjustable shoe. Well, it's really not easy. It's, it's locked in there tight. Then you could actually uh, adjust this. You see the teeth right there. You could adjust it to how far you want, which by doing it, by having that feature, you could actually use a different part of the blade if you feel like having a, a fresh blade in there. That is a huge benefit of having a shoe that slides back and forth. And when it comes to putting it, when it comes to putting in a blade, all you got to do is twist the chuck and then slide your blade in there then it's locked into place now the one thing i will say is you're still able to reach it like this but uh how tight that is right there it's it's really not comfortable so the best thing to do do that then you could easily put your blade in like so 
Like I said, we'll be using an 8 amp hour high output battery. The battery is full. This thing is a beast. All right, so for the Hilti, this is model number SR6A22. Uh, same thing, it has a lock feature on the handle. The specs are underneath the battery, which we have one more thing to inspect on both of these. So this goes to a 21.6 volt tool. This actually goes to zero to 2,600 strokes per minute. So that is 400 strokes per minute less than the Milwaukee, but it has a little higher voltage. So there'll be less resistance on the motor when it comes to doing the task, but we'll see what happens. When it comes to the shoe, this is much easier to adjust. You just push the button, then it slides out like crazy. It, it doesn't have like a little handle, like a little latch that you gotta force your force open. This is just a quick, quick, easy release. And the same thing, you could adjust it to use, uh, you could adjust it to be able to use more of your blade if a part of the blade is dull. And one thing I do like about this, it does not matter, like unlike the Milwaukee, it doesn't matter where your, uh, where your collet is, you could adjust the collet whatever position that it's at. So like if it's in or out, sorry, I took the battery out. So if it's in or out, it doesn't matter. You could adjust the collet where you need to, then insert your blade. LED light on the front. Milwaukee has an LED light on the front as well. One thing I will say when it comes to Hilti's engineering, all right, the one thing that I seriously love, which uh, the I'll show you the damage to the Milwaukee that already happened from the battery, is the anti-vibration system on the Hilti is seriously, seriously good. All right, so uh, th this is on all of Hilti's to on all of Hilti's tools, as you can see. Even the, even the hammer drill. It has it, it, they have a separate battery unit like that 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 has a lot of play in it. All right, so like the anti vibration for the battery is seriously well engineered on the Hilti's, and, and I love that. So like like the enti this entire unit is sort of separate, so it could take more vibration, so it doesn't damage the tool or the battery. When it comes to the Milwaukee, as you can see, because I, I use this, if you slide the battery out, there's actual damage there's actual damage to the body. Like, like this is like, it's, it's not that big of a deal, but also it's not good because this damage is also happening to the battery. As you can see, it has uh, all that scuffs right here, which that means that the vibration to the tool isn't being nearly as dampened as other tools. So like, like this, this is not good. That's not good, but it does have a little anti-vibration anti right here to where there's not much play in here. There is play, but it's not much play. So that's why there's a little damage uh, on the battery itself as well of the tool. So I, I'm just pointing that out. And last thing, both tools are variable trigger. It's just not an on or off switch that does have a variable trigger. Like I said, no speed dial, no nothing, just a variable trigger only. And it does have a, does have a hook, fiberglass hook. And the Milwaukee has a metal one. Milwaukee has a metal hook. All right, for the wood, we are using six inch wood and nails Diablo bimetal blades. These are six and a half teeth per inch. And so we have brand new blades for the wood. Uh, we're going to do a couple of cuts with a 3 amp hour battery. We're going to see how this is with just the straight cut with no orbital feature. Let's see how it is. So ready? Go. Time. That was pretty quick. All right, it is Hilti's turn. Just like that. 3 amp hour battery. Battery is full. All right, so ready? Go. Wow, I could tell that the uh, the Milwaukee destroyed that time. 
All right, this, I'm not gonna time this. I just wanna wear the blades out evenly because I wanna do a uh, Milwaukee and Orbital. Time, Orbital. This is gonna be crazy. All right, so ready? Go. Time. One more time. Just going back and forth. Ready? Go. That's insane. That is insane. We're gonna add three nails to this. So let's check out the depth of the nail so I know when the nail stops. It stops right here. And for those of you that don't know, Ryobi actually does make a hammer. It's actually a pretty decent hammer and it does have a magnet feature on it. So just, just an FYI. That's one. Bingo. Perfect. Ready? Go. Wow, that cut through those like nothing. All right, let's see what Hilti can do. All right, so there we go. All right, so ready? Go. A little hesitation, but it's still cut it through, cut through it like nothing. I got a, a four by six right here. We are gonna cut this like that. We are using a used blade for both of them because, yeah, that's a that's a doing a six inch like that's pretty big. Yeah, both of these blades are equally used. Ready, go. Time. All right, so ready, go. Time. There we go. All right, let's see what the Hilti can do. All right, so ready? Go. Time. That's the benefit of orbital because the orbital plowed right through that, but that orbital feature, it makes a big difference. A big that that it, it has it on there, so it, it's that powerful with it. We are gonna do one cut each. We're gonna do one cut each on a two by four, on a four by four with with some nails in it. Let's actually move this back a little bit so I don't hit the, the camera. Thought I had a third. Um. Alrighty. So far the battery is still full on the Hilti. And the battery is at three bars on the Milwaukee. I'm assuming that using the or orbital feature will use up more battery. Yep, that's a good, good stroke. Ready? Go. Time. Let's do the Hilti.
One, two, and three. All right, so ready? Go. Time. I have a feeling uh, Milwaukee took that one. I think Milwaukee got that one. All right, let's do, let's do one on regular stroke. All right, so ready? Go. Time. And one more for Hilti. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby. Let's switch over to metal. I have a two and a half galvanized pipe right here. These are still cold. Neither of them are warm in any way. All right, right here is good. Hopefully I don't have issues with this. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, metal. You don't wanna, I, I'm going to assume you don't want to watch uh, use orbital feature on metal, so we're going to use a regular stroke. All right, so ready, go. Time. Do one more. Ready, go. Time. All right, let's do Hilti next. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more. Smell that metal. All right, so ready, go. And let's do the final temperature thing. The, the Milwaukee only chilled for like about a minute. That's not enough. Yeah, they're, they're not even worth, it's not even worth temperaturing. It's, it's like at 62 degrees. The, yeah, same thing, 65. That's in a random spot. They're both still cold. I wanna see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna time this compare itself. I want to see what this is like cutting metal in orbital. All right, so ready, go. Time. Yeah, that, that, that is a very uncontrolled cut. That is a very uncontrolled cut. I'll show you guys really quick, look at that. Very uncontrolled cut. Which one do I think won? I think when it comes to the orbital feature, the Milwaukee blew the Hilti out of the water. I do not know what the test results are when it comes to the Milwaukee just using the regular stroke, but with that orbital feature, that this Milwaukee is a beast. I'll find out myself as soon as I edit the video. Uh, but yeah, but, but both, of, both of them are absolute beasts. The final battery life for the Milwaukee is three bars and the Hilti is still at four bars. So I think that orbital feature, you know, it uses a little bit more juice. But when it comes to these two, I think this is a 100% fair test. You know, this is 22 volt, that's 18 volt orbital feature, no orbital feature. They both have their ups and downs. So I, I think they both did a fantastic job, but yeah. I think the Milwaukee won this one. All right, so for next Wednesday, we are actually gonna do the Milwaukee Fuel Impact Driver versus the DeWalt XR Impact Driver. But we're gonna use the new 21700 cell FlexVolt Advantage battery into the DeWalt. And so because uh, I actually just did a video, I'll put it right here. We, the, it actually majorly increased the performance. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this test for you guys just to show you the power difference between the two. Now, the, 
one thing I will say is which one do I think would last longer? I think the Hilti would. You know, like you can't have this much power without consequence. That that motor in time is going to give out. You know, so this this is a good balance between powerful with without overstressing the motor. So I honestly think the Hilti would last would last longer than the Milwaukee would when it comes to its lifetime. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time.